So today we want to unbox the DDX 9902S Kenwood XLR. Stay tuned. And we have the owner's manual. Bag of screws, extraction tools, more owner's manuals. Okay, the power plug. The mic for Bluetooth. The GPS antenna. And the extension for the parking brake. Cool. All right. Okay. So in this we have the trim trim bezel. Double dim trim bezel that you probably won't use. So we're gonna take this plastic off and show you the backside. We have the six channel four volt preamp output and we have the subwoofer right here, the rear and the front. Okay, and then we have the one and only USB cable. We have the input for the GPS antenna. Okay. We also have the input for the FM HD antenna. We have the video Video one output. We have the rear view camera input. We have the AV1 in. We have the AV2 in. Over here, these two are going to be for Maestro Link. This is the Bluetooth mic input. Way down in here is the HDMI MHL connector. This is a full uh, HDMI cable input and it is about that deep. Alright, these two wires over here, this is going to be your reverse trigger input for the backup camera and this is going to be your emergency brake bypass. Now this wire just needs to be grounded for the Kenwoods so if you put a ring terminal on here you can screw it in right like that. Alright, fan you have the Sirius XM port right here, as well as the power plug and 10 amp fuse. And then this last hole right here, this is for the AV out. Uh, so you have video out here and AV out here. So you will need an adapter to go to RCAs if you're planning on using that. All right, so that's the back of this guy. We're gonna spin it around, power it up, and show you the front. Okay. Who doesn't like the front? All right, so we've got it spun around and powered up. But before we show you all the cool features that it has, we just want to let you know, this is the unboxing video, and we're going to touch on a few pointers here. But we're also going to have other videos where we dive deeper into the exact features. So if you want to watch them, just check it out, and, I mean, check the other videos. That's right, they'll be here on YouTube. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the comments, and we'll answer those for you. Huh. Go so, figure. Yeah. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the, what this thing does. All right, so when you power it up, the first thing it's going to do is go into demo mode. So if you tap the screen, demonstration mode is right on top. You're going to go ahead and turn it off. Now, we have a 6.95 inch touchscreen. It's a VGA color LED with LED backlightings, and the display size is 800 by 480. The second thing we have is language. There's 21 different languages that this thing is capable of. We'll just leave it on English for now. You can adjust the angle of the screen because this is a DVD CD player with motorization. All right, which, you know, let's just show you. You can do this. Okay. You have six different levels of adjustment. I'll go back to zero. Okay. And then the next question asks is rear camera on and off. Now, this has a rear camera, and it also will give you rear guidelines through the programming. It has a color panel adjustment. Okay, and you have new this year, you have, uh, or on this model, you have six different screens to choose from, as well as you can import your own image, and you can adjust the color for the buttons on the bottom. All right, so once you've answered all the questions, go ahead and hit finish, and you're all set and ready to go. Well, let's talk about some of the features this guy has. All right, it has Bluetooth phone with voice dialing, and that's going to depend on the phone that you have. So you come over here to the phone. 
and you're going to have missed calls, incoming calls, outgoing calls, your phone book. All right. This is also capable of doing dual phones, so you can have one phone for music and one phone for phone calls. It's also, if you come over here and hit all sources, this will give you a list of every source that's capable on the radio. So you, you have an AM FM HD tuner, so that's going to give you simulcast. Go back, hit here. You have your iPod, USB, you can pick, use whichever one you want. You have the HDMI MHL adapter, Sirius XM capable. This is your apps, this will give you the ability to do things like Waze. You have Pandora control for your phone, you have iHeartRadio control for your phone, and you have this one that no one ever uses. Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth audio. Now this particular radio uses their advanced apt X for best in quality of sound. Basically what that means is it's got the same quality as if you were to plug it in uh, through the auxiliary or the USB. So it is a high bit rate Bluetooth premium. Uh, telephone. The OME features are for the iDatalink module. So if you're sitting there going, why doesn't this really do much? Well, because you need the iDatalink module. Oh, my bad. AV1, AV2, and standby. Standby is allows you to get into certain menu features that you might not be able to access in the setup. So if you can't get to something, sometimes you do need to put it in standby. Okay, so the main reason why this unit exists is for two features. Okay. And do you know what those two features are? Apple CarPlay. That's correct. And Android Auto. That's right. So that means that this guy will do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Like yes, you just sir. said, why I repeat it, I have no idea. <laughs> it's done through the USB. All you have to do is plug your compatible phone's USB cable into this, plug it into your phone, and you will get both those services on the radio. Kenwood is neat, unique in that it will swap between the two. Okay, This is in lieu of Bluetooth, so if you just plan on using Bluetooth, this is a great piece. But if you plan on using one of those two services, then you'll get hands-free calling, text messaging, GPS. Um, Siri eyes free. Siri eyes free if you use an iPhone. You'll also get more uh, radio control, such as MLB. There's a ton of them. So let me give you a quick demo on that. All right, once you plug the phone in, you're going to get this cool warning. And unfortunately, you're going to get it every time. Hit accept, hit enter. All right, it's going to ask you to unlock your phone. This is for CarPlay. So here's my GPS loading. If I hit this button here, this will take me out to my CarPlay map. If I hit the Kenwood icon, it will go ahead and return me to the main menu. Once on the main menu, I can hit CarPlay. From here, I can make phone calls. I can also just press and hold this button here, and it'll launch Siri. I can ask her what I want her to do, ask her all kinds of questions. Hit the home button. I get my music, maps, messages, now playing, podcasts. These are other stations that are available to me. So that's CarPlay. All right, we have our Android Auto. Just like the Apple CarPlay, it's going to come up with this cool warning. Hit accept, hit enter. And there's your Android Auto. Android Auto uses what they like to call tiles or pages. And you scroll up. You can navigate. You can use the buttons across the bottom to listen to music. Ask a question. You can tap here. Your little voice prompt will come up. You talk to her just like you do the other phone service. Tap it again and she'll go away. Navigation is right down here. This will launch your Google Maps and allow you to navigate. You can ask her some place you can go or you can type in an address if you feel like it. You can make phone calls. Uh, we only have one phone number on here so if you have more it'll fill it up. It'll tell you information about your phone. And then your music services will be over here. button return to Kenwood Let's go ahead and tap that here's where your Android Auto icon will appear just like it did in the previous service so you can tap that and it'll take you back a couple other things that this thing is gonna have um, is a seven band EQ okay it's gonna have a time alignment crossover you could set up what type of car you're putting it in it has loudness 
Okay. It has Kenwood's Drive EQ uh, for road noise canceling. Um, it has memory backup. So oh, once wow. you do set up all the cool EQ, they remember. you can memorize it. That way, if your battery gets disconnected, you can go back to it. Uh, it also has source tone adjust. Okay. Now, let me just walk you through that real quick just to give you an idea what that looks like. So go ahead and turn on a radio. We'll go to menu. We'll go to setup. We'll go to audio. In here in audio, here's your balance and fader, of course. Put the back button here. You have your EQ. So you can just do this. All right, back button. Here's your loudness control, your volume offset. Volume offset, what that does is depending on what you're listening to, uh, let's say a, a Bluetooth and or auxiliary, if it's playing lower than the FM, you can go in here and you can turn it up so that they all play at the same level. You have your subwoofer control, uh, speaker select. This allows you to go in. This is also going to be where your crossover so you can tell it. You know, if, if you're new to the game, you can just tell it what size speaker you have. Or you can come in here and you can use the crossover. All right. As front, rear, sub, crossover. Front, rear, sub. And we'll go back. Oh, got to hit the arrow. Uh, DSP bypass. If you want to turn everything that this has off for audio, you hit bypass. And that will shut down the full EQ crossover section in it kind of weird but it has it and then drive EQ on and off this is uh, Kenwood's noise canceling feature it's kind of cool uh, it also has time correction so you can go in here and you can tell it where you're sitting and then you can go in here and manually adjust the delay all right well that's it in a nutshell that's this bad boy we just unboxed it and showed it to you if like we said earlier if there's questions you have about certain features please check out other videos we're making about this guy this isn't the only one we got a whole bunch of them I got a list right here <laughs> we're gonna film those next all right let them have it all right so uh, thank you thank you for watching you guys can find us on facebook youtube and instagram have a good night and we'll see you shortly bye